us. We help people with their mortgage modifications whenever we can. Uh, but because of the economy, and unfortunately because of the fact that in the state of New York here, we have very high taxes. Uh, we have a lot of red tape. You're also, you're entrepreneurs, you're business people. So you know uh, the kind of challenges that you face. Uh, when you're just trying to, to do your best for your customers, your clients, and, and, uh, and make a living, that taxes and red tape uh, get in the way of progress. So in this state, we've actually lost two congressional districts over the past 10 years because people are moving to other parts of the country where it's, it's easier to get along, it's easier to afford the cost of living. So my biggest job to help all of you do your job is to do all that I can to make sure that there is the kind of growth in our economy, the kind of opportunity for everybody who wants to work in this country. We have 23 million Americans across the country who are either unemployed or underemployed. Uh, and here in the Hudson Valley, uh, Orange County alone, the statistics are, are very troubling. Uh, and Mary knows, so, you know, we were talking about Goshen. 8.9% unemployment in Orange County, that does exceed the national average. It's a little bit lower here in Westchester. Our average in the Hudson Valley is about 8.2% currently. Uh, so it's, it's about par with the national average, but it's higher than it should be. And that's the fundamental point. And we can have that growth that we need, and everybody agrees with that. Um, I happen to be, and I'm looking at uh, our Women's Council of Realtors, I am the only woman physician who is a member of Congress, believe it or not. I'm the only woman physician who's a member of the House of Representatives. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and I actually, uh, one of my uh, fellow freshmen, I, I was one of those, that big freshman wave in 2010, one of my fellow freshmen uh, invited me, David Cicilline from uh, Rhode Island, and he's a Democrat, and he invited me to co-found, January 2011, to co-found the Common Ground Caucus to bring Democrats and Republicans together, to work uh, together as friends, to get to know each other. And uh, that's been a wonderful uh, endeavor. And I work all the time with colleagues across the aisle because it is important to have that common ground. And uh, people ask me that all the time. Uh, but I will tell you that there is such great agreement uh, throughout the House. Uh, and, and, and I work with senators as well from time to time to grow our economy. If we can have growth, we can solve so many problems because if we really want uh, to, to make sure that that massive debt that we're building up doesn't get worse, that we have uh, that we have a handle on deficit spending, we have got to put more Americans to work. So our number one job is to make sure that we have a climate here in the Hudson Valley and throughout the United States where we welcome businesses, small businesses. You are the engine. Most of you here, I believe, are in small businesses. You are the engine of growth for our economy. You're two thirds of the new jobs in this country. And I can only imagine uh, how hard hit you have been uh, by the loads of new uh, regulations. And of course, uh, we all know about the tax growth that's coming. Uh, and certainly our materials, I hope you, you had, uh, there, there is a sheet on your, on your tables, uh, Congresswoman Nan Hayworth works for realtors. And I in turn have read your materials that you've sent to me. You know what's coming just with the 3.8% tax uh, on uh, certain types of investment income, including that, uh, that people gain from their real estate transactions. Uh, you know the 0.9% tax that's coming on uh, your income to, uh, uh, if, if, if you're in your own small business, you are also going to face an extra 0.9% income tax. Uh, this is just a small piece of what awaits us come January 2013. So I am one of the people, there's no question about it, uh, who has called for a responsible federal budget and for tax relief across the board. Uh, because it is all of those dollars that you work so hard for and that your neighbors and friends and people here uh, in the Hudson Valley work so hard for, that when they stay here in our communities, when they don't go to Washington, uh, to be spent less than wisely, less wisely than you would spend them, then we will have uh, better times here in the Hudson Valley and across the country. Uh, 
we do talk about the tax code, there's no question about it. I do think we need a flatter, fairer tax code. I've said that over and over again. The mortgage interest tax deduction, we've, we've actually talked about before. We talked about it in 2010. It's nearly 100 years old at this point. It is a part of the fabric of American life. I respect and value that, and I have no intention of taking away the mortgage interest tax deduction. I want you to know that for me. We have plenty of other opportunities in the tax code and plenty of other opportunities to grow. Uh, we want to make it easy for people to have home, to have community. How do we make that happen? Home ownership is our goal here. I understand that. That is what you as realtors do. You make homes, you make communities. You make it possible for people. So I know on this uh, page, uh, in terms of more specifics of what concerns our real estate community and home builders. Uh, I'm on the Financial Services Committee. I work very actively on the issues that concern you that have very specifically to do when we talk about masses of new regulations. Of course, Dodd-Frank is one of them. Uh, when we talk about qualifying mortgages, uh, that